Nee. What? Mahamanumani. <laughs> well. Mahamanumani. Hey everybody, welcome in. I'm Ever, and today we are watching the season one finale of BoJack Horseman, and it's a show that I have very much enjoyed, and I'm super excited to see how this season wraps up. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. And again, if you want to see a season two and beyond, make sure that you like this video and also leave a comment down below, letting me know which season you're looking forward to the most. And if you guys really enjoy the videos, don't forget to subscribe so that way you can come back and watch these things day one when they come out. If you want to check out some of the other shows that we've got going on or all the uncut reactions from this season, you can do that by becoming a patron with the link down below. But without anything else, let's go ahead and watch the season one finale of BoJack Horseman. This is from Bojack H. Bojack is nine years old. Aww. Bojack writes, Dear Secretariat, I am a horse just like you. I like to watch racing and you are my favorite racer. Smart kid. When I grow up, I want to be just like you and I think I'm on the right track. Get it? Track? Because horses run on track. Huh. <sighs> what do you do when you get sad? How do you not be sad? Sincerely, Bojack. That's a great... Letter. Oh my Bojack. God. When I was your age, I got sad. A lot. Uh, Bojack. When I... you get sad, you run straight ahead and, and you keep running forward no matter what. There are people in your life who are going to try to hold you back, slow you down, but you don't let them. Don't you stop running and don't you ever look behind you. There's nothing for you behind you. All that exists is what's ahead. Good morning, Louisville. Okay. It's August 22nd, 1970. Okay. How is this? This sets the tone. Banned for life from competition. It's a disgrace is what it is. This is the 70s. You can't cheat in sports and get away with it. You know, I think it just goes to show you. You can be the fastest runner in the world, but you can't outrun the truth. And traffic is jammed today. Coming into Louisville, looks like some idiot parked his car on the bridge. We're just... Ah, okay. Just starting the episode with a casual suicide. Love it, dude. Love it. Or what I assume to be death. I mean, I guess he could have lived, but I'm pretty sure that the whole point of that was for him to not. Yeah. To Bojack Horseman, my friend, for his book, One Trick Pony. Hey. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a big win. Appearance at the Globe Ceremony since Love his it. Post removal in 1992. After oh. he exchanged blows with Sir Paul McCartney. <laughs> Wow, what an honor. <laughs> Not Paul McCartney. Incredible. These last three months have been really amazing. You three know, months. A lot of people said to me, you sure you want to publish Stop this Stop it, Mr. Peanut Butter. This is his moment. If I can make just one person out there feel a little less alone, this is his it's moment. all worth it. And they said, no. that's really brave. And I said, well, I'm not one to call myself brave. But since you said it, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. After party at my restaurant. Just enjoy the win. Honestly, yeah. I really hope he just. Oh my god, this is still going on. Three months later. So, the question is has she slept with him then or not? Because three months in, dude, for adults. Good. I went to the stock market today. I did a business. I went to the stock market. Vincent, let's do a lap. Have you met Brendan Fraser? I feel like you two would love each other. Whoa, easy, easy. Whoa. How is Diane? I haven't seen her since. uh... Well, I haven't seen her in a while. Have you oh, not well, seen her since you her too. asked her to tell her, tell you that you were a good boy? We're like the well, I'm happy she's happy. And how are you? Well, it's been really hard. Erica, is that you? Who let <sighs> you out of the burn war? I can't tell Mr. Peanut Butter is just like, I think he's just an idiot, honestly. With yourself, I thought that was a really profound observation. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely That's... so profound. Hey, do you want to get out of here? Wow. What? Come back to my place, maybe get a little more naked, honest, and revealing? Oh, um, no. No, thanks. What about you? <laughs> yeah, Jesus okay. Christ. <laughs> Classic Mr. Bojack. Love to see it. Hello. Diane! Sebastian St. Clair here. Famed billionaire philanthropist adventurer. Please, hold your applause. Okay. Does he want well, her to write a book? A uh, okay. I got your number from Pinky Penguin. I'm looking for a journalist to follow me around for a few months and document my <laughs> daring exploits, aiding ravaged communities and displaced people. Wow, that sounds <sighs> amazing, but that's not usually the kind of thing I write about. Oh, yeah. 
If you can make people care about Bojack Horseman, surely you can make- Who's voicing this dude? He sounds so familiar. You spend three months in Sudan? Not just there. We're also going to Haiti and Thailand and Uganda and Chechnya. Can't you do all dude, that Dude, she's LA? gonna- I want to My prediction real quick. I want to she's gonna go on this adventure and come back and not want to be with Mr. Peanut Butter. That's my- I don't know if that's more of a prediction or more of a wish, but we'll see. Maybe I want to poop in a bucket. If you want to poop in a bucket, we can get you a bucket. You don't have to go all the way to Chechen <laughs> yeah. Am I saying that right? It's not just the pooping in a bucket. I think it might be good for me to get out of L.A. for a little bit. Sweetie. Yeah. You know I support you. She's suffering you from all the do, fame. you're not going to find what you're looking for in these awful made-up places. The universe is a cruel... I don't know that Sudan is a made-up place, but okay. <laughs> Sure. The Cohen brothers. A question about a one-horse town, and you're the horse. Hello, Oscar. What do you think? So I think now's the time to this... finally make secretariat. Really? Now? Aren't you a little um very too old? You asked me what I wanted to do. That's what I want. That's all I've ever wanted. And if I can't get it now, then all of this has been for nothing. Oh, fish. So of fair. Course. Why would you ever like, make things kind of fair? Money when instead you could make right. things incredibly difficult? I mean, you could yeah. be making loads of money. You could be helping. But, you know, why do that? Me time and time again with no regard for my well-being. <laughs> Atta girl. <laughs> Poor Princess Caroline. <laughs> you know what this world needs? Edge of my seat over here. A store where people can buy Halloween stuff. A Halloween store? Uh, I feel like that's been done. Yeah, in October. <laughs> but how come oh. you never see a Halloween store okay. in January? It's He's got a point. Yeah. I, a I, I could store. see some potential in a Halloween store, like, outside of October, honestly. Because, I mean, they have other stuff. Cosplay items, you know? There could be potential there. Maybe. By a career. But Secretary was dead at 27, so who are we getting here? Just set the project up and give me an audition. That's all I ask. All right, you got yourself a go picture, kid. And by uh -oh. you, I mean me. And by go picture, I mean uh, I'll make some phone calls and see what I can do. And by kid, I mean middle-aged adult. I, I really hope that he... I really hope that he gets this role, man. Here, it's January, and the <laughs> Halloween store won't open for another nine months. Oh, I no! Satisfaction now! Has this ever happened to you? I mean, I guess you, you could go on, like, Amazon now and get anything you <clears> want, <throat> We give you... Halloween in January, a truly immersive Halloween experience <laughs> for the rest of us. Halloween in January? Please elaborate. Okay, but before I do, tell the audience, have we ever met Never. Before? Well, according Not to once. facts, there's more suicides in January than any other month. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close over here. Also, <laughs> there's less Halloween stores. Coincidence? Wow, I'm convinced. This store could save lives. Unbelievable. When your powers come How did they just connect Halloween stores and suicide together? How, like, in what world? How did they connect this? Fire called friendship. Fires aren't called things. Well, what about the Chicago fire? Or Fire Island. Or Gabe. Who's Gabe? Just a fire I met once. <laughs> points are being made right now. Whether they're good points or not, that's debatable. But points are definitely being made. Business, oh. business. Just wondering how he's gonna fit in that. The guy at the office said take the car to the place. <laughs> it's always guys in places with you. You know, I thought I wanted to date a real adult, but I'm actually young <sighs> at heart. I need to feel the grass between my toes. I want to wear jeans. I want to dance. That's baby stuff. No, Vincent. There's more to being an adult than just work and business and the tall person rides at Disneyland. I want to have fun. There has to be a difference between monogamy and monotony. What's monogamy? <laughs> well. Monogamy. <laughs> Can I have another soda? Okay. I was really hoping that it would be like an actual adult under there or something. And yeah, I don't think that's happening. Nothing. People come up to me. They want my autograph. They want my picture. They think they recognize something in me. And I want to be that person that they think I am, but I'm not. They see a greatness in me and they mistake it for goodness. But I, I know there's nothing there. As fast as I run, I can't get away from that. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, I think I speak for everyone. Please say it's good. Oh, my God. Andrew Garfield said yes. We have a secretariat. We got Andrew Garfield? Oh, my God. It's the best day of my life. You don't say no to Spider-Man. I can go is gonna be 
Spider-Man! <laughs> you don't say no to Spider-Man. Oh, no. Well, now he's just gotta murder him. That's the only way forward, obviously. How's the pie here? Not good. I'll take all you got. Screw it. Throw it in a bowl with some bread and bring me a ladle. Mm-hmm. Bojack, we noticed <laughs> you've been pretty down in the dumps lately. But well, that's yeah. because Andrew Garfield got his, like, dream role, so, an you know. new business venture that's equal parts new Don't. and exciting. Another Don't. one? We... What happened to your Halloween store? A what now? Oh, right. <laughs> the, the what now? What? Smoothies. You're saying smoothies, right? Smoothies? No, smoothies. smoothies. It's a mood that you drink like a smoothie. I don't understand. How do you drink a mood? Like a smoothie. So it is a smoothie. No, so it's, it's like smoothie. the feelings a of a mood in your smoothie. You How do right. you drink a mood? Like a smoothie. Do you, you bite in a store? Pissed. I mean, what are the physical attributes? Look, we haven't worked out all the kinks yet, but the important thing is we've gone public and it's we have want an you aneurysm. to get in on the ground floor. See, that's the problem with all your ideas. They don't have ground floors. Finally, a Halloween store for the rest of make <laughs> <laughs> which one do we make? I like to think the smoothies make us. Ah, <laughs> Dude, the way he like that sticks that his tongue out smart. randomly. Because it's not always out. It's like oh god. Bojack, isn't <sighs> this exciting? Smoothies, right? Do you even know what a smoothie is? <laughs> some kind of an adult onesie. Whatever it is, I'm trying new things. That'd probably be a better idea than what's currently being advertised, but you know. Princess Carolyn. Vincent, well, you've got some nerve showing your face. Why is I've he got here? half a mind. No, let me talk. I had an attitude problem. But then I took a time out and I thought about what I did. I wanted to be a big man. But sometimes <laughs> the biggest thing a man can do is tell the truth. And the truth about me is I, I. Okay, here we go. I love you. What? Oh, Vincent. Let's go kill grass. <laughs> Jesus toes. Christ. What? All right. I absolutely cannot with this plot line. Like how long could this go on for? It cannot go on forever, right? Garfield's out. He got into some sort of accident. An old Hallow's Eve store? <laughs> How fiendishly drove. <laughs> oh! oh, bother. The clumsy bastard broke every bone in his oh, body and now we Jesus. gotta find a new lead. Studio wants to go young, but I was thinking we get someone a little more Bojack Horseman. Oh yeah? Like... Like Bojack Horseman? Grit to play the part, and we can age it down in post. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna put up with any woe is me bullshit or diva histrionics. I get enough of that from my ex-wife, along with newspaper <laughs> clippings about gluten. God, we get it, Marla. Gluten. <laughs> but if you want to make a movie and you're ready to work, I am. I, I will. I can. I do. Great. You got one month to get in shape. You need to lose 50 pounds and then gain back 20. And Bojack? Yeah. Don't ever call this number. If I want to talk, <laughs> I'll call you. <laughs> He's always had this relationship with people where they are just talking at him. Hey. Not big on parties, huh? Nah, I never know what to do with my hands. I think I just got cast in Secretariat. That's amazing. It's everything I ever wanted. Yeah, you seem yeah, super why aren't you? jazzed. Yeah. What do I do now? Well, that's the problem with <sighs> life, right? Either you know what you want and then you don't get what you want, or you get what you want and then you don't know what you want. That, well, that's yeah. stupid. Yeah. I don't know if this makes you more or less excited, but I actually decided to take a job on the Secretariat movie as a character consultant. Oh, wow. so, so they'll be working together. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. No, it's not possible. When I first moved to LA, I thought I was gonna be doing really important work. You know, just writing Aww. stuff that makes a difference. And then you gotta fall into one thing and then another. Well, you've got time. There's yeah. always later, right? Down. Yeah. I kind of think all you are is just the things that you do. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. For what it's worth, I think your writing does make a difference. Thanks. I really wanted you to like me, Diane. I know. I, I honestly, I'm not going to lie, I really thought that they were going to kiss. I really, really, really did, dude. <laughs> the 
That plot line is gonna go on far longer than it should. I already know it. Is that a... <laughs> is that an orange is the new app? <laughs> oh, man. Did these, like, start at the same time? Oh. <laughs> Trophy still in his hands, Jesus. Kids, kids, I don't need a present. I got everything I need right here. Macaroni. Sabrina. <laughs> Come here, you goofball. Oh. Can we have a happy season finale here? Can you make it out to Blake? Uh huh. Thanks, man. You're like my hero. Really? No. Oh. Huh. Okay. That's happy. I'll take it. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Only good. He still got the trophy in his hand. Can you come a little closer? <laughs> oh man. This is this is a closing song. Yes, there's no more. N oh man. Okay. All right. That was a good time. I enjoyed that. Before you head out, and if you want to see a season two, make sure that you like this video. I really enjoyed that finale. I think it was really, really good and a lot of like closure on some things. And we got to see kind of a recap of what everybody was doing. So I appreciated that. I'm a little bit sad that like it didn't end with like Bojack and Diane together, but I feel like that is going to come at some point or another. I would love to see it, or him and Tr I, I really, at the end of the day, I just really want a happy ending for him, but this show has shown me that it probably will not go the way of normal shows and will continue to be, like, very realistic with its plot points and things like that so i'm excited to see how it goes i really enjoyed it if you guys enjoyed it again don't forget to like the video and leave a comment down below what you thought of the season as well what you think of the later seasons you know like if they're better than this one obviously don't spoil them or anything like that but i would be very curious if this is another one of those shows where it's like yeah season one's okay but like the later seasons get so much better and i feel like a lot of the shows that i have watched on the channel are like that and i feel like this is probably one of those shows as well me personally, I wasn't going to rank the entire seasons with the ranking system, but I think I think I'm going to and I think that I would probably throw this to a like probably like a three and a half out of five stars and that means it's definitely memorable. There are pieces that I'm not going to forget at all and I would definitely rewatch it a couple of times. I don't think I would like on rewatches season one, I'd probably skip after watching it four or five times maybe. But past that, you know, it was a great, great season. I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are, especially with the little system that we've got going on. And if you agree with that, with that rating or not, let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe so that way you can come back and watch some other stuff along with me or check out season two. Once it rolls around, if you guys let me know that you want to see season two and beyond, of course. And don't forget to follow me on these channels as well. So that way you can stay updated with the channel or just check out some of the other stuff that I've got going on, like Twitch and Discord. And if you guys are ever interested in the uncut reactions or checking out some of the other shows videos early you can do that by becoming a patron with the link down below thank you to the current patrons for the support i appreciate you guys very much you allow this to be possible and i appreciate it tremendously and until next time thanks for watching